The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the September 27th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question you can't dial in, Stevie's got your back. Send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we've got a mixed bag out there. we got the Dow trading up 392 points, about 1%. The S&P is up 11, about 2 tenths of a percent. The NASDAQ down almost 3 tenths of a percent, a 52-point move there. Russell's up 30 points, 1.5%. Semi's down 78, 1.5%. Trade is up 248, 1.5%. Yes, we've got a mixed bag. Gold's off $26. Silver's down 40 cents. Lights recruit is up 11 pennies. Natural gas up 13 cents. 30 treasure up 8 ticks. Printing out at the 1. 24.19 level. Now, our leader in the clubhouse, to the upside, our leaders, I should say, dollar wise, uh, were led by Regenerant Pharmaceuticals, a 23 point move for two bucks. Transmedics Group, 15 bucks, 10%. Super Micro, 14 bucks, 3.5%. Lululemon, 14 bucks, 5%. And Charter Communications, nearly 11 bucks, the upside, 3.5% move. Our shakers to the downside, led by Eli Lilly, off 28 bucks, 3%. KLA Corp down 18. Lamb Research down 17. Monolithic Power System down 15. Acadia Health. Healthcare is off 13. Costco is down uh, about 14 bucks as well. So we got things to look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So uh, let's do this here. Let's start with um, let's start as we have most recently. Take a look at that New York Stock Exchange advanced client oscillator, which certainly is going to be above zero. So the the overbought condition. As price got up on the trading day of September 19th, as, as well as it got up on the uh, trading day of September 17th, got up to that plus 150 level of the advanced client oscillator. Again, the oscillator being the difference between two things, in this case here, those two things being the 19 and the 39 period exponential moving average. So the overbought condition was worked off. Price got right back down to that zero threshold level, closed just slightly below it yesterday. We're back above it now. It tells us that buyers were always the ones in control of the general markets out there. So this is still a bullish condition out here. We're making uh, new all-time highs in the New York Stock Exchange uh, today. We'll try to take a look at the cash indice charts out there, depending on what kind of time that we have. If we take a look at Spot Fix Index, that is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. More likely than not, the Spot Fix is going to go target that lower Bollinger Band. The lower Bollinger Band is at 14.02. If you're going to put that Bollinger Band on your system, make sure you change the parameters that say 50 to 1 Bollinger Band reading. Um, what else can we look at here? Really, I'd have to say now, well, let's take a look at the uh, perigee pivot point for uh, gold and silver out here. Let's see where we're at there. I don't think we're anywhere near it. No, we're down. I sat down at the 2604 level. Not that that can't be a target. Um, let me just see on silver where we at here on silver. That's down at, and right now, that's down at the uh, 
31 level. In fact, we're talking about gold and silver here. Why don't we just start our day? We'll go over to my other charts. And let's just start by taking a look at what's going on there. So if you give me just a moment... We're going to go ahead and switch screens. We'll be on those white background screens. And we're going to take a look at that. We'll start with looking at the uh, gold contract or multi or eight panel multi day, uh, multi period uh, uh, set of charts out here. So here's what we know about gold on a monthly time frame. Uh, this had a, a TD9 count top out here. Uh, that is going to be negated come Monday. The TD, all it needs is all it needs to do. Well, I believe it will be uh, negated on Monday. All it needs to do is close above twenty five thirty seven seventy. I guess anything can happen, but I don't think so. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Gold negated its uh, TD nine count top a couple of weeks ago, continuing to trade higher out there. Would need a, it's a trade above profile resistance. It's green oscillator and change line. Conditions are bullish. That doesn't mean that it can't pull back, but overall, its conditions are bullish. It is the daily time frame that we have to keep our Ryan. Why is that, Stevie? Because it has that TD9 count top. Now, yesterday looked like maybe it was going to negate it. In order to negate it, it needed to close above, and I mean close above, the level of uh, 2694.90. And where did gold close yesterday? 2694.90. It closed right on it. So that TD9 count pattern still remained in effect. We're seeing, and then uh, today we would get it, we could get a, a Rhodes but Dominicator top if we get a bearish reversal candle. Right now you've got a bearish engulfing candle. The key level of support here for gold, and I know there's a new profile that we talked about during the update. Let me give you again that date out there. 270 is the um, is the top of that profile. The center of that profile is at 2667.80, and the bottom is at 2586. Now, the keyest level of support out here is going to be that daily oscillator and change line, currently printed at 2661.40. And there's going to change by pennies or what have you, but figure a close below 2660 would tell us that we are trading below that, below the center of a bearish structure profile. That would most certainly increase the odds of a move back to the bottom of that profile, 2586. Now, that's what's going on on the daily, the weekly, and the monthly time frame. Is there any kind of a uh, bottom signal that we see out here? Well, there isn't. If we look at the 60-minute time frame chart, we had both a Rhodesman Dominicator top, TD9 count top, that went ahead and confirmed at 8 o'clock in the morning. This is yesterday morning out there. Price came back, found support at its breakout level, 2681. Beautiful thing. However, during the last hour out here, uh, the, I should say the last hour being 10 to 11, price cracked right through that. We closed below 26.81. That actually sets up an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Uh, shoot, i got to figure out this keyboard issue I've got here, but we'll do it the old-fashioned way. So let's draw in our A to B line, and what I'm just simply going to do is I'm going to move that over to the C point. That's the next highest point after the uh, B point gets formed. So that'll be right here. What we can see is we are now at the one to one A to B equals CD price project. We got probably more towards the 1.272. What you're watching for here on a 60 minute time frame is to see if there's any kind of bullish reversal candle that forms. Now look, if there's an A to B equals CD pattern on a 60 minute time frame chart, there probably is on the 30 minute chart as well, right? Yes, most certainly. So what you'd be first watching here on that 30 minute time frame chart also would be looking for some type of bullish reversal candle. Look, we we are trading below the support level of that 30-minute time frame. That support level being at 2662, that's the bottom of its profile. But if we did see some type of lowest reversal candle uh, during the day here on a 30-minute bar, that would tell you to expect and anticipate some type of counter trend move. Now, in this case here, 2682 would be that price target. But if a new profile forms between now and then, well, then that price target would be shifted. Is there anything else out here that I can see? There really isn't. So you got to watch that daily time frame, see if price gets down there and test and reject that oscillator and change line. 2661 or so is that number. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We we're taking a look at gold. We want to look at silver and the GDX, just kind of round that out. Now, I had mentioned that there are new profiles that are attempting to form inside of both gold and silver. The ones on silver, uh, my two different systems don't match up. Where they do match up is resistance. So 32.72, that's a pretty solid number. Of course, 32.72 is, I think, just above the TD9 count top. The TD9 count top is at uh, 30. 261 out there. So there's a, there's another resistance level as well as the profile area. Uh, the bottom of the profile on the, my white background chart is at 3033. The black background is at 3063 out there. The center on the black is at 3182. Here it's at uh, 31, uh, 3122. So uh, here's what I would share with you. If we have a TD9 count top, odds would favor that silver will go target its oscillator and change line. That's right now at about 3147. A test rejection of that level would then go ahead and create an overall neutral signal. But I would say more neutral to bullish than anything else. But because we have that new profile, we need to respect the resistance zones there, support zone as well. If price were to close below 3147 or so. So that's what's going on. We take a look at gold and silver, at least for their daily time frames. By the way, for their weekly time frame, as I had mentioned, uh, if we look Look at the weekly time frame for gold out here. Uh, no topping uh, signal as we speak right now. Price trade above all resistance out there. So longer term or intermediate term, I should say, things still look hunky-dory. In the case of silver, it's got a bit more problem. What's that? It's got a road momentum indicator top for its weekly time frame. Now, that is a candle that price is trading with inside. So as long as it closes above 31.04, odds favor a, uh, a move up towards 33. 50 out there, but it's got to contend with the daily TD9 count, testing support, rejecting support, and then continuing to move higher. Now, in the case of the GDX out there, we don't have any kind of a topping pattern, really. What we've got is native B equals CD pattern. It has not achieved that objective. We didn't get close enough to it yesterday out here. Does it matter? It doesn't. We talked about this. You know, we weren't with yesterday because of the hurricane. By the way, I hope everybody that's in the path of that hurricane uh, is doing well. Out there, we're fine down here on the eastern uh, seaboard of uh, Florida. Just a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, it's going to take a 
several hours to clean out the uh, pool out there, but uh, that's beside the point. The, the most important point here, and we talked about this on uh, Wednesday when we were together, uh, that the show I was doing early in the morning, was that even though I don't have a top inside, topping signal, I should say, in the GDX, it's still going to follow along with gold. We took a look at the three-day directional correlation. It is as solid as can be out there. So, But what right now what the GDX is doing is testing a very key level of support, and that is its oscillator and change line at 4067. Like gold and silver, it is also attempting to form a new profile, the support level. So if price were to close below 4067, you would look at the GDX targeting that 3990 level out there. But right now, it's uh, tested a key level of support, and it is held. So that's what's going on. We take a gold, silver, and the GDX for their daily time frames. On the weekly time frame, by the way, with regard to GDX, no topping pattern at all. It would need a bearish reversal candle to confirm a roachment to indicator top. So intermediate term time frame, both gold, silver, and the GDX looks pretty good. It's now up to the daily chart to uh, do its job, to do its work out there. So let's go, uh, let's see, Ron said, hey Steve, silver futures daily and flat right now, your thoughts on the next three to five days. So Ron, I think I covered that for you out there, but since we're just talking about silver, let me just do this here. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, I'll do it anyways. And we take a look at these three time frames out there. So silver, we're in the December contract out here. Let me just fire this up on the screen. So again, what I'm what I'm really suggesting for in silver is uh, price getting back to that oscillator and change line. We don't have any reason right now to think that it won't. Uh, we've now traded below yesterday's low out there. So I believe that target is 31.48. We take a look at the daily and on the weekly. You know, on the daily, uh, you know, below that, then we're going to talk about different profile areas out there. But since that would be below the profile of the black background charts. Your next level you'd be watching would be 31.22 and below that 30.34. We look at the weekly time frame chart again here. You can see that that is certainly bullish. Nothing to worry about there. And then uh, monthly time frame chart, it's really the same uh, setup out there. Now on the monthly chart, you've also got resistance. New profile last month, 33.50 is that area. So your questions were, what's my thoughts on the next three to five days? I think it needs to finish the job of testing support out there. So hope that helped you out, Ron, and anybody else that was uh, interested in the metals complex. Now, uh, we had EEM up on our screen here. So this is a request that came in yesterday from GTE. Uh, we take a look at the EEM. It has a TD9 count top that was negated yesterday. The TD9 count top completed on... Um, on Wednesday, and we closed. You closed above that. Now there's an A to B equals CD pattern. It's a pretty big one. Of course, all you have to do is look at the the the, uh, uh, the China markets out there. I mean, what a tear this week to the upside for the Shanghai for the uh, for the uh, uh, um, the uh, the Hang Seng. And uh, and even the Nikkei, not too shabby. Now, I'm just going to draw, I drew that A to B line out there. I'm just going to go from that TD9 count bottom on the EEM. So we're well beyond that. So all you're going to be watching for here, uh, GTE, is a bearish reversal candle. That would confirm a sell the D point top and suggest that we pull back to test support, which right now support would be at 4468. The weekly time frame chart, bullish as can be. The monthly chart is saying, okay, now is the time when we might pause. So price has gotten all the way back up to its breakdown level of 46.78. Now, a monthly close, that would be on Monday, a close about 46.78 would be a positive. But on Monday, this is also going to complete a um, TD9 count pattern at the breakdown resistance level. So it just says be careful. That be careful would be watch for a bearish reversal candle on the daily time frame. You also wanted to take a look at KWEB out there. So let's pull up that set of charts. We take a look at this. There is no topping signal. Um, really the same pattern setup. This formed a TD9 count top on Wednesday, uh, let's see, Friday, Thursday, Tuesday. Tuesday is when it uh, confirmed that top, and yesterday we closed above that, so it negated that signal. Now, here I don't really have an A to B equals CD pattern on the uh, daily time frame. So uh, what what to do, what to do, what to do? Well, it's taken out a swing point. This is K-Web, the swing point from back on May 17th, 37 million shares. We are trading up today with 38 million shares. So this is strong like bull, and that ain't no bull. And we take a look at the... Uh, Monthly time frame chart, you're trading about profile resistance there. So where are we headed to? Where are we headed to? Okay. So the swing point on a weekly basis that it's trading, targeting, is from January 27th. 
2023. Now, there are only 63 million shares during that week out there, but the high and the low, the low is at uh, 35.83. That's a target and 36.19. So it looks to me like that's where K Web is headed to. So I hope that helped you out, GTE. Sorry that we weren't able to get to that request yesterday, but glad that everybody is doing okay and that we can be with you today. Sharky inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at ticker symbol HBM. So let's see what we have here. I don't recall HBM. And HBM right now trade at 927. This is hub day minerals out there. So what do we know? Very much like we just took a look at those first two instruments, the EEM and KWEB. This had a TD9 count top. This went ahead and completed, in fact, on Wednesday. Was negated yesterday when price closed above it. This suggests higher price. Higher price to where? Excellent question. Well, first, the next swing point that I see out here on the weekly time frame has a high of 980. So 980 is a price target. If price were to close above that, then I'd say we get up to 1049. 1049 is the top of the monthly profile. But everything here looks muy bueno. Now, it is pulling back today, but my goodness gracious, this said uh, just a uh, just normal really normal moves out here. Building but wealth nice. trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. Sorry about that. I was talking right through the break, right up to the break, and then even through the break out there. But we were taking a look at HBM, that Subday Minerals out here. It's for Sharky inside the Tiger's Den. So just to complete this, uh, Sharky, um, you know, everything looks pretty darn positive to me. Uh, negating the TD9 count tops a couple of days ago. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, trading inside a bullish structure profile on the monthly time frame. So other than that, one little short-term swing point out there, to get about was 980 or so, I think. Uh, it was at 980. If you close above 980, 1040, becomes a target. Now, I was going to pull over something. I just realized I don't have that chart out here. So um, the pullback today, well, let me just look at a 30-minute chart. I was going to look at consecutive days higher and lower, and I accidentally deleted. So this had a TD9 count top out here on a 30-minute time frame, and uh, I don't have a bottom signal as we speak. Price could be pulling back to the 909 level out there. So that's what I see on that short-term time frame. So let's go to your next request out here, which was for HUT. H-U-T is the ticker symbol. Is that Pizza Hut? Stevie doesn't know. Well, let's go take a look at the stock charts out here. Is that King? King Tut? King Hut? No, it's not. What is Hut H-U-T out here? That is the uh, Hut 8 Corp. Boy, that's a helpful explanation. But here's what it's doing. This negated a TD9 count top, and that says it's got an A to B equals CD pattern now to the upside. It negated that signal back on September the 24th out here. Now, let me just off screen. I just want to make sure that the retracement that I would use here is at least a 0.382. So I'm just checking to see if this really is an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside or not. It's close enough, yeah, it was 37%. So let's take a look at that. And price right now is sitting at that one-to-one -one level. So let's draw this in here. Let me get that line tool going. And uh, uh, if I do this, here's your A to B point. And I'm just gonna move this over to the C point out here. Well, I'm gonna try to. I'm not going to try. I'm going to do it. There we go. So now you can see you're at the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD level out there. Uh, now, there was a bearish shooting star candle that actually formed as we got up there, uh, Sharky. That was on uh, September the 25th. So this has a sell the D point top. The only way that gets negated is a close above the high from a couple of days ago, the high being 1313. So what should transpire here is you should see an additional retracement. That retracement could take us back to the top of the profile at 1154. If you look at the weekly time frame chart, weekly time frame chart, Trading with inside its profile ranged from 1003 up to 1864. With price trading above that green oscillator and change on its condition is bullish. On a monthly time frame, HUT has just been a sideways move. Let's open up this monthly chart out here. Wow. So this is almost dead money, so to speak. In other words, the trading range on this is from about 22 bucks. I'd say the bottom of the consolidation, more like about $6. Now, not that that's not a good move out there, but this is just long-term sideways movement out here. We take a look at that monthly chart. So, again, I don't know what they do out here, but um, when any event, sell the D-point top on the daily time frame out here. Watch to see what it does, whether it negates that signal or begins pulling back towards support around that 1150 area. So there's your HBM and Hot Turkey. Thanks so much for those requests. Hope that that assists you with your trade. Let's take a look at the request here from MF inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And as we look at this, this is for SMCI. So what do we know about it? It has a nice Rochmentum indicator bottom. Let's take a look at this. This went ahead and formed back on September the 9th out there. Price was trading inside that bullish structured profile that it also formed on September 9th. Price closed above the center of that level on September 11th. When it closed above the center of a bullish structured profile, it increased the odds that you're going to get up to test resistance, the top of the profile, which it did. 477 is the number. It tested it yesterday, tested it late last week or early in this week out here, and then it went ahead and took a beeline and went back and tested both that Rogement Dominicator bottom and the bottom of its profile. So SMCIM, this is just a consolidation with inside its daily profile. On a weekly time frame, you have a TD9 count bottom that says price should rally towards 527. Now, if price were to close below on a weekly basis, 382.80, it'll negate that signal and say we had lowered. Now, its next area of support, should it do that, is down at 305.75. That's its TD9 count breakout level. And finally, on the monthly time frame, price is trading into a support area, which is down at 326.83 out there. So just a consolidation inside of SMCIM. Hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for your request. Joe wants to say, wants to know where is UNG going out here. So that would mean that we would probably take a look at these charts. Yep. Nope. That's not it. 
RBLK. I forgot. I think that's what uh, comes first out here. So let me get through that one, RBLK. I had it in. Now, I didn't write down who asked that. That was, uh, that was, I don't remember. In any event, somebody did ask about, oh, that was dude inside the Tiger Stand looking for a buy price. Well, you're in bar number six to the upside. This is very bullish on the uh, daily time frame. Weekly time frame is also oh, was in bar number seven. Big move there. We're trading a profile, trading above its green oscillator and change line. And the monthly chart says really almost the same thing. Monthly chart is signaling that this wants to head up to 1233. RBLK, is that Roblox? RBLK, or is that, uh, is that not it? R RKLB. No, that's not Roblox. RKLB. Okay, so that is um, Rocket Lab. So Rocket Lab looks like it has more upside out there. Your question is, um, where's a buy point out here? So great question. I don't know if I can find it. When we take a look at this chart here, this oh, it's a monthly chart. I don't want the monthly chart. Let's take a look at the daily time frame chart out here. So let's get to the daily. We're taking like consecutive moves to the upside to the downside, see if we get a feel out here. So we can see that since this rally began, we've seen one two-day pullback, one three-day pullback, another two-day, another three-day. So I'm going to say at this stage here, because we don't have any really key levels of support that I would see this getting back to, uh, dude, is I would wait for some kind of two-day pullback. That is, unless this thing actually tops out. When I say tops out, forms, you know, could form a TD9 count top next week. Uh, between Monday and Wednesday, uh, and then that could also set up some type of retracement back to support. But other than that, out here, you'd be looking at probably a two- to three-day pullback inside of um, a rocket lab out there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for your request. Now we can go take a look at UNG, and this is for Joe inside the uh, Tiger's Den. Now, Joe, your question is, where is it going out here? And really for us to answer that question, what Stevie really needs to do, we'll come back to these UNG charts for you, is we've really got, now I'm assuming that the uh, contract inside of, um, of UNG, and it may be a bad assumption, is the November contract. So maybe you want to check that out because I'm going to go ahead right now and take a look at the November contract of natural gas. Your question is, where is it going? Well, right now it's dealing with resistance on a daily time frame, And that resistance happens to be the top of its profile. So I can tell you that it's going to test resistance, which it has done. Oh, Stevie, don't be smart like that. $2.89. If price can close above 289, now this has a sell the D point top. Here's our A to B equals CD pattern. Here's your bearish dark cloud cover candle. Here's your bearish engulfing candle out here. So your resistance level is the high from the trading day of September 24th. Also 2.895 out there. That is the same as oh, the profile is at 2.895. Yeah. So price needs to close above that to suggest we're at a higher. We'll continue looking at natural gas and the UNG. We get back to the spring. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly unfortunately there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market this is what sets teddy Keckstack's the tiger forex report off the riffraff Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, 
Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the uh, November contract for natural gas. My assumption is that is still the, the the holding with inside UNG. It may be November and December out there, so one would want to look. But in analyzing the November contract, we talked about the daily time frame. Nice rally this morning, but right up into profile resistance. That resistance is so – the profiles are so helpful, but it was also uh, sell the D-point uh, resistance out there. But a close above that level, 2.895, would then say we rally further. Rally further to where? Well, my eyes go to the weekly chart. Because we have a nice roads momentum indicator bottom out there. And what is price doing? It is trading with inside its profile. So its resistance level, the top of the profile, 2.934. And price could close above that. Then we likely head up to 3.08. 3.08 is the bottom of the monthly profile. Uh, what is that? Let me see what this monthly profile shows us. 282. Where's 282. 280. Oh, we're, so we're trading into the bottom of the monthly profile right now. So a close above that on Monday would be a beautiful thing. And that would suggest moving up to 308. But right now, uh, you've got the TD9 count. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you've got to sell the D point on the daily and on the weekly. If you can close above that sell the D point, 293 would be the number out there. I don't see anything else on any of these charts here to really assist us with anything. So let's close these out. Let's go take a look at UNG. Actually, one of the, the other things that I should do for you here, Joe, um, is uh, let's take a look at, well, let me get to the UNG charts. Give me a moment to do that. But what I want to share with you is the seasonal pattern. Not that natural gas is necessarily um, held to the seasonal pattern this year, but that still doesn't matter. You've still got to be aware of it. You know, which way is the tide? We're just about to end September. And which way is the tide going as we enter the last quarter of the year? Well, all you have to do here is say 33-year chart for natural gas. It's all the data that I have. And all we have to do is look at the very bottom right. What's the bottom right show us? It says, you know, October is a, a typically ends up by closing lower. Negative month out there. November really does that in December. So we're starting to move into an unfavorable seasonal time period over the 33-year period when natural gas is actually topped out in middle of October out there. So just keep that in mind as you trade it. Um, you know, natural gas did not take advantage of the seasonal pattern when the rally starts in February and goes into the uh, June time Time frame out there but nonetheless that doesn't mean that it can't take hold so just know that that's the seasonal pattern with regard to natural gas now we take a look at the ung out here see if we only looked at this and i didn't go take a look at the underlying instrument i would tell you that this is getting ready to break out again why is that well we're trading above the top of its profile the top of its profile is at 1610 are we going to ignore that? Yeah, we're just simply going to pay attention to the underlying instruments that make this up. But nonetheless, um, you know, it's a bullish signal out there, but that's really not where how this is trading. It's trading. I won't say it one more time. 
I will say just one more time, it's trading based upon the chart patterns of that underlying instrument. It's why we see the GDX pulling back today, because of its directional correlation it has with Goldilocks out there. So hope that that analysis, Joe, provided you with the information you were looking for. You say, where is it going? Just depends on whether or not it can take out that daily uh, profile resistance level. McGuppy inside the Tigers then wants to take a look at BHP. Oh, that's UNH, so why, why didn't I put BHP in? Let me go back to the other charts here. Stevie just kind of screwed up. Sorry about that. Let's put in BHP. And the question is, is there any chance of a, a pullback out here? So let's go see what these uh, charts are telling us. Today, bar number seven, one heck of a week that this has had out here. So first, where is this headed to? I'd have to say it's likely headed to 63.82. I know that wasn't your question, but first, where is it likely headed to? 63.82 up towards 66.13, 63.82, top of the monthly profile, 66.13, weekly TD9 count breakdown resistance level. So your question is, uh, is this going to pull back at all? Well, if we look at, with you know, with, with something that's kind of running away here, if we look at its uh, dance steps out here, just like we did with uh, one of the other instruments, what we'll see is since the bottom had formed out here on September 10th, you've had one two-day pullback, one one-day pullback out here, um, so, you know, you're looking at pretty much, you're looking where is there a chance of a pullback? You, it, sure, there's always a chance of a pullback. We've been up, uh, this will be day number five to the upside. So I'd say last time we had day number five to the upside was when this actually topped out back on May 20th. But probably if we go back and look at May 20th, we can find some kind of a top on its uh, daily time frame. Whereas here we cannot, we're in bar number seven. Now, BHP may form a TD9 count top between Monday and Wednesday of next week. And then is when you could certainly get your retracement or your pullback. What we'd have to do is look to see if there's any new profiles that have formed out there, McGuppy, to really assist us with that. So you either get that, a TD9 count top, and then maybe you have a deeper pullback, or you just wait uh, you know, for a two-day pullback. But the best that I can uh, share with you or I can identify. So I hope that that helped you out. I hope visually that helped you out as well. And uh, oh, as always, thanks so much for your request. ELO inside our Tiger's Den wants to take a look at United Health. UNH is the uh, ticker symbol there. And if we take a look at this, the question was, there was no question, just can we take a look at UNH? So we're doing that. Now, its work to the downside basically should be done. Why? We had a TD9 count top that went ahead and formed on September the 4th. Rhodes Mint Indicator formed on September the 5th. Price pulled back and eventually got down to its breakout level, 570.62. It tested that back on September 20th. It tested it on September 24th. Can't bust them down. It's going to go try to bust them up. Price is trading inside a bullish structured profile. We can see that we have resistance both at 587.19, 590.05. 590 590.05 is fixed. 584.66.67, whatever. That I'm sorry, 587.18 is not fixed. That is the oscillator unchanged line out there. Uh, if price can close above 590.05 ELO, then you get a move to the 598.79 level. The weekly chart says it's moved to the downside is done. The question is, can it break through resistance? I don't know, but you're going to find out. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, TD9 count top, that is also, in essence, at this stage here, done its work to the downside. 567.21 was the bottom of its weekly profile. This week, that level was tested and rejected. This, too, the weekly chart is suggesting it wants to move higher, as does the monthly. Why does the monthly? Well, because we're trading above all resistance out there. Trading above profile, oscillator and change line resistance. United Health, UNH, should head higher. 587.16, in essence, they might have uh, you know, completed that move. And above that, 590.05 and then 598.79. Our next request coming in from uh, Jimmy D inside the Tiger's Den. Question, where to add on IONQ? Well, excellent question. Um, you've got a daily A to B equals C D pen on the upside. So you're looking for some type of bearish reversal candle. You are trading into, I'm not sure what you're trading, a TD9 count top. No, you're going to negate a TD9 count top. So a close today above 933. We're at 944. A close above 933 negates a TD9 count top and says that we head higher. Um, the problem is, may, okay, so there's an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside, uh, Jimmy. And what you'd be looking to do is you're, you're asking where to add. 
uh, you know, you'd wait for that pattern to go ahead and complete, get a bearish reversal candle, and it'll pull back back towards support. Right now, support is at 827. The weekly time frame chart uh, price is going to try to close the week out above profile resistance at 924. We're at 938. If we do close above 924, it's signaling to you that it wants to move up to 1232 out there. And I don't see anything. You're just consolidating inside the monthly time frame chart out there. So watch the day's close. If you don't take out that TD9 count top on a daily basis, maybe then price pulls back towards the 827 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey, because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So we can take a look at the XPEV. This is for San inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And we take a look at this instrument today. We know beautiful, explosive move, certainly this week out there. Daily time frame. Bar number eight completes today. And so this suggests that you should see at least a short-term top form, be form between today and uh, Tuesday out there. And then price should pull back towards its oscillator and change line. Right now, that's printed at uh, 1040. Last time, we had a TD9 count top in the daily time frame. That went ahead and uh, confirmed on the trade day of September 6th. Price pulled back, nearly got to that oscillator and change line out there. And it's no reason to think that it won't do something similar. Weekly chart is very good. After the uh, daily, T let's assume a TD9 count top uh, forms. Now, we don't know. For, well, it, it should form. Very likely forms out there. Um, uh, then um, 
after that work is done and it's pulled back and tests the support and decides to move higher, XPEV wants to go target 1825. We're trading above the top of its monthly profile. We're trading above all profile levels there. So it does look like it wants to rally further. Just be careful on that daily TD9 count top that should go ahead and confirm on Monday and complete on Tuesday. The last request out here coming from a guppy inside the Tigers and is take a look at SBLK. I believe that is a, a bulk shipper out there. Let me just make sure SBLK. I hate to give you bad information. It says star bulk carriers. It most certainly is. Now, as we take a look at this, yesterday, this negated its TD9 count top out there. You know, a lot of a lot of the liquidity in China here is impacting a number of different instruments. Maybe it's impacting this one as well. So what price should do out here, McGuppy, is go target. Um, it's TD Nank out breakdown level. That's at 2430. I know you're looking for an entry point out here. I think you got to wait for price to get up to that next resistance level and see if it pulls back and we can assess it then. Maybe there's a new profile that forms. Weekly time frame is suggesting to move up to the uh, 2451 level. That's a TD Nank out breakdown area. That's after forming a TD Nank out bottom. Monthly's got a TD Nank out top, but its work was done to the downside last month as well as this month with price testing the bottom of that support level 2025. So that's what's going on. We take a star bulk carriers out there. Folks, thanks so much for joining me on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Have a, uh, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Be safe out there. Take care. See you Monday.